Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zayn, and I'm coming on to just bring uh, some clarity to you all in regards to manifesting. Now, my spiritual team has given me the tools to learn how to create exactly what I desire based on what I deserve, okay? So I say it like that because there's work that has to be done internally before you can attract the things or manifest the things that you want in your external uh, circumstances, such as, you know, finances, career, creative ideas, things of that nature. So first I want to show you all the decks that my spiritual team guided me to create. Many of you are familiar with some of my decks, but for those of you who are not, this is for you, especially those of you who have purchased my decks and you're asking me, well, how do I use them? So we'll start off with, we'll start off with my Heal Yourself deck, okay? Now this deck is about 107 cards or so. Each card is color-coded with the color spectrum of the chakras, okay? And each one has different phrases written on them to tell you what chakra is blocked and why it's blocked. So this is going to be like a miniature reading for the collective. The card that I'm pulling out is lacks intuitive connections. Now this is dealing with the third eye chakra. So what you would do is you're going to have a pen and paper and you're going to write down anything that comes from the cards that's showing as a blockage. So let's, let's just be, for example, what might be blocking, let's just say what might be blocking your love life for those of you who feel like love is not really coming in. What might be blocking your love life? So we'll pull a card. And so what you want to do is write down whatever comes out. So what I have here is poverty or lack mentality, root chakra. So this is a clear indicator that, okay, you might feel lack mentality when it comes to, okay, there's a shortage of good people out here. There's a shortage of people that would be compatible with me out here. There's a shortage of love out here. There's not enough of something to go around concerning love. Or this could be you have lack mentality in your current circumstances and so you don't feel good enough to pursue love because you feel like you're lacking, you're missing uh, some things from your life. So you want to write on paper, I destroy and release all of the following. This would be your first uh, statement, all poverty and lack mentality. You're going to destroy that energy. Bottom of the deck says self-doubt. Now this is dealing with the solar plexus chakra. So you're going to write that on paper, all self-doubt. I'll take one more. Then we have lacks compassion or empathy, heart chakra. So you're going to write on paper, lack of compassion or empathy. Now, not all the time are you going to be able to say you directly resonate with it from the top, you know, right off the bat. Sometimes you might look at it and say, well, hold on, I don't understand. But it doesn't mean that you don't still need to clear yourself of that energy. You still want to put it on paper and burn it because sometimes we're not always consciously aware of some of the things that are blocking us. But your spiritual team is giving you direct messages through these cards. That's why they had me make them. So the next deck that I have, oh, another thing about these cards, the Heal Yourself deck. If you pull, let's just say you pull about seven cards. Whatever color comes out the most is the chakra that you want to put the greatest emphasis on. So as you all can see, I've pulled... One, this says fear of judgment. That's sacral. Two, lack mentality, poverty or lack mentality. Three, self-doubt. Four, lacks compassion or empathy. Five, lack of control or aggression. And then six, lack of courage. So the dominant color that has come out is the solar plexus chakra. So that lets you know that you want to put strong emphasis on your solar plexus, which deals with your personal power, your strength, your courage, your confidence. <clears throat> So you're likely going to want to purchase a yellow candle and you're going to want to write things on that candle. So that's where we get off into the next deck. So let me give you an example. Okay, so here I have a yellow candle. We see that the solar plexus needs the most work. So you want to use the energy of the color. Colors are energy as well. Words, colors, you know, sound, all of that is energy. So you want to get a yellow candle specifically for the solar plexus. So now you might ask, well, what do I write on this candle? Because you want to write on the glass of your candles, get you a permanent marker. It doesn't matter what color it is. So now you want to connect with your spiritual team and find out, well, what do they want you to create? Because you already know what you need to destroy because you pulled from the heal yourself deck. So you know what to write, burn and release. Now you want to know what do you put on the candle to create? So this is my new deck. It's called 
write, burn, and create, okay? So if you want to purchase this deck, email me. If you want to purchase any of my decks, email me. So this deck, write, burn, and create, okay? It's going to tell you exactly what you need to put on your yellow candle. So you might ask your spiritual team, what do I need to do in order to heal my solar plexus chakra? What should I be creating at this time to be more courageous, to step into my power? And so these cards have handwritten, well, they're not handwritten, but these are statements on here, affirmations that you're going to write on your candle. But it's different from you just coming up with the affirmation in your mind. This is going to tell you energetically what needs to be created. Like it's a direct message. So it's no room for guessing when you're using my cards. That's why I created them. So this says, I am connected to my higher and inner self. So you want to write this on your candle. I am connected to my higher and inner self. We'll pull about three of them. What else do you want to write on your candle to help to heal your solar plexus chakra? I create and welcome new sources of income. I create and welcome new sources of income. So that's another thing that you'll write on your candle. I'll pull one more. So the last one says, I am growing and improving every day. I am growing and improving every day. So you're going to write those three statements on your yellow candle. You're going to pray over it. Give thanks to the Most High Mother and Father and your spiritual team for helping you to embody that energy. Okay. So that's what you're going to do with the write, burn, and create deck. The next deck that I have is Diary of a Spiritual Black Sheep. This is giving you different messages as you go along your journey, because a lot of times the chosen seed, you know, taking this journey can be, you know, it can be lonesome and sometimes, but it can also be where you have a lot of questions and you're just wondering, okay, so what does this mean? Am I on the right path? So just asking for a general message from your spiritual team, diary of a spiritual black sheep. I created this deck for that reason specifically. So what does your spiritual team want you to know? I have two cards that came out here. First one says, Keep at it. You're almost there. Be sure to remain private about what you're working on to keep the naysayers away from your vision. What are you? What you are creating will be of great help to others. And as a result, you will receive great reward for your contribution to the world. This will be worthy of celebrating in the very near future. You are protected and so is your vision. So this is that encouragement, that motivation that you need, that whatever it is you're working on, Whatever it is you're creating, you're almost there and make sure that you don't communicate with the naysayers. Nobody should, uh, should know what you're doing unless you trust that they really are on your team. So that's one message from your spiritual team. So the other message from this deck says, what are you waiting for? You now have your freedom and it's time to soar as high as your free will can take you. It has truly been a battle finding your freedom. So now is a good time to rest and replenish your energy before you take off towards an exciting new beginning. Now the only limitations are in your mind. How far can you see yourself flying? So that's where the courage and the confidence is going to come from. That's why you're working on the solar plexus chakra. So I hope y'all understand where this is going. This is a step-by-step -step guide. No room for guessing, no guesswork. It tells you what to put on your candles to create and manifest, what you need to write on paper to burn and um, release. Last one is the Declare and Decree deck. Many of you are very fond of the Declare and Decree deck. This is for those spiritual blockages that's coming from the powers that were, you know, outside forces that's trying to prevent you from rising into your divinity. So you'll take this and you'll write it on paper and burn it as well. You'll write, I declare and decree. So it tells you what to start off with. I declare and decree. And whatever is written on the card is what you're going to write on paper to burn. So this says all unhealthy addictions, codependencies, and pleasure-seeking behavior patterns are destroyed and cleared in spirit and in flesh. All unhealthy addictions, codependencies, and, and pleasure-seeking behavior patterns are destroyed and cleared in spirit and in flesh. So that's one of them. I'll take one more. Y'all might want to use this for your manifestations right now because this will resonate with some of you out there. The other one says, all demonic forces within my energy are destroyed in spirit and in flesh. All demonic forces within my energy are destroyed in spirit and in flesh. So you're also putting that on paper and burning it. You can put it on the same piece of paper, burn it. 
So you want to do this consistently on a regular basis, constantly checking in with your spiritual team. What can I do to improve? What should I be manifesting? You pull a card. If you want to just know, okay, what color candle should I use today? You might just decide to pick up the Heal Yourself deck. Right now, we're seeing that yellow is important, but you might just get up and say, okay, I want to I want to um, manifest right now. So you pull a card, red, pull out your red candle, pull out your red candle and start writing whatever affirmations you receive from your right burn and create deck. What do you need to put on your red candle? This says, I create a life of comfort and peace. And you might say, okay, well, give me a sign. What do I need to know, spiritual team? You pull from the diary of a spiritual black sheep and it says, you have the right to happiness and reciprocity. Releasing those who are dishonest, selfish, and controlling is the highest act of self-love at this time. You've postponed enough valuable opportunities staying stuck to the past. Now it's your turn to invest your energy into people, places, and things that reap a harvest from all of your hard work. That makes all the sense in the world because the red card that I just pulled actually said abandonment issues, okay? That's what that card said, abandonment issues. So if you get your red candle, you're going to be writing these affirmations. I create a life of comfort and peace. And your spiritual team is telling you it's time to release them anyway. If you feel like they abandoned you and left you out in the cold, that's okay because you're being guided towards other people who now appreciate you. So you're in the right place is what it's saying. So I hope that this brought you all some clarity for those of you who are purchasing my decks so that you can see the bigger picture of why my spiritual team guided me to create these decks and how they will be beneficial in your life. I use my decks for myself on a regular basis, okay? I'm always lighting my candles, checking in with my spiritual team. What do I need to create? What do I need to destroy? What's going on within me that's blocking me? What chakra do I need to focus on? What color candle do I need to use? What declaration do I need to be clearing out to prevent spiritual warfare from happening? And am I on the right path? What guidance do I need today? So just know that these decks have been created from a space of love. I want everybody to thrive out there. And so invest in yourself, Start doing the work, be consistent with it, and you will watch your life change. Believe that. So that's my message for you all. Please like and subscribe if you want to order any of my decks. Check the description box of my email, and I'll talk to you all next time.